now on Coast TV News. The Ocean City fireworks light up the sky. We have a recap of the red, white and blue festivities. A pilot is safe after a plane crash in Frankfurt. What we know about the investigation. Tracking Cane Barrel, where the massive storm is headed next and the deadly devastation left in its wake. The wind farm debate continues when it's up for discussion again and where you can weigh in. And the scattered showers broke up as it approached uh, Sussex County, but the heat has been extended. I need to update you on this advisor. This is Coast TV News at 11. Locals and vacationers all coming together to celebrate the 4th of July. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with the Ocean City fireworks display. People watched these beautiful lights by the Ocean City beaches and the even on the water. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé shows us why the 4th of July is one of the busiest times in Ocean City. Ocean City held two different fireworks shows to celebrate the 4th of July. And Lucian Phillips says why he thinks everyone wants to watch the light show in OC. The best thing here is that you can see the fireworks on the boat. If you have one, I think it's the best thing ever. The Northern Side Park and Ocean City Boardwalk both had fireworks going off to celebrate Independence Day. And people came from all around the country to see the show, which meant heavy traffic and parking being a rarity in town. Something Bob Brenner, who runs part of the parking in Ocean City, knows well. In the blink of an eye, um, we had a, a batch of people come in earlier today, um, and some of them are starting to head home. Uh, they want to avoid the traffic jam that has always occurred uh, uh, the evening of uh, the 4th of July. Whether someone was watching from the beach, on a boat, or on the bridge, they were bound to have a great view of some 4th of July fireworks. It's great meeting with people and people are patriotic and waving uh, our great symbol of freedom and that's the American flag. I asked over a dozen people why they decided to go to the Ocean City fireworks and they told me that you just can't beat the view. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. Ocean City's downtown fireworks on the beach were delayed. The town posted on Facebook to say the show was moved from 9.30 to 10 p.m. due to an unexpected high tide. Crowds of people gathered in towns along the coast today to experience a lot of fun. Boats sailed down the Lewis Rehoboth Canal as part of the Independence Day boat tradition. These floats were judged based on how patriotic their decorations were. One person told us why they enjoy coming to the first town for the 4th of July. Just thought it would be fun to come down and see the ships and all the activities that are here. We've uh, been in the area five years from New York and have often gone on cruise for the uh, fireworks out here and decided to do this today. The fun did not stop there. The annual Doodah Parade was held earlier this evening, followed by fireworks at dusk. The Go Forth Lewis fireworks launched for the sixth year tonight. This is made possible by donations. And this all brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is your go-to 4th of July barbecue food. Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier tonight. On your screen here, it looks like burgers are still in the lead with 41% of the vote. Hot dogs in second place, 31%. 10% say crabs, 13% for ribs, not a lot of votes for veggie skewers, which I know Paul and I voted for. If you haven't voted yet, you still can just go to coasttv.com or use our mobile app. And now let's take a live look outside into Lewis and check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams on our First Alert weather tonight. It's only getting hotter, Paul. Oh yeah, and and then and then there was yet another one, and that other one is yet another one of those days added to the heat advisory that we were already under for Friday. Now it's into Saturday. Our Milford Bay Health camera, we're at 82 degrees with winds out of the south southwest at seven miles per hour. 77 is where we'll end up by about three o'clock with partly to mostly cloudy skies by then. Temperatures right now 70s and 69 actually in Rehoboth, but 80 for us in Red, 79 in Milton. We have the heat advisory that's in a full effect. The rain did come through and the rain did fall, uh, but it was very, very light, very cloudy. So it didn't necessarily hamper the light show or the, uh, the fireworks show so badly, unless you were from Chincoteague all the way down towards, I say, Cape Charles. 
And our break now for tomorrow, we're expecting for it to get really warm really quick, about 94 by 2 o'clock and staying at 94. So it's going to feel like 102 or worse. And then there's more, Mallory. Paul, for millions of Americans, the holiday weekend comes with dangerous and record-breaking heat. And as we head into the weekend, much of South Texas will brace for the wrath of Hurricane Barrel. Jen Sullivan is tracking the heat and storms. As the U.S. celebrates Independence Day, millions of Americans are grappling with excessive heat. The entire West Coast and much of the Southern Plains are under heat advisories. Parts of Northern California are not only dealing with triple-digit temperatures, but also wildfires. In Oroville, California, which is about an hour north of Sacramento, thousands of residents are under evacuation orders as the Thompson fire tears through Butte County. We're having a very busy, very active start to this fire season. The blaze destroying at least 3,500 acres since it first broke out earlier this week. This winter we had a significant amount of rain, but with rain brings growth. And the, and the challenge with that is that fuels and vegetation continues to dry out. And in California, that spells the next large wildfire. Meanwhile, in Atlanta, more than 50,000 runners were participating in the annual Peachtree Road Race, the world's largest 10K. But organizers canceled it before all the participants could finish due to a dangerous heat index near 109 degrees. While relief from the heat comes heading into the weekend, parts of the south will then brace for Hurricane Barrel. Earlier this week, the storm caused horrific damage to countries like Grenada and Jamaica as the earliest Category 5 on record in the Atlantic. We had damage to some coastal infrastructure in southern parishes. Uh, we had damage to agriculture and housing in two parishes. Barrel is now headed towards Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It's weakened in strength, but is still expected to bring damaging winds and torrential rain before churning towards Texas. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. New at 11, a pilot is injured after a plane crash in Sussex County this afternoon. Take a look at these photos. The Roxana Volunteer Fire Company says the plane crashed near the 34,000 block of Rickards Road in Frankfurt. Firefighters say they found the airplane at the end of a field upside down after falling from the trees, and the only person who was in the plane had gotten out of it. The fire company says injuries appeared to be minor, and the pilot didn't go with first responders to the hospital. Crews made sure there were no fuel leaks. Delaware State Police was on scene as well to provide medical assistance and to help federal investigators. Well, if you were planning to vote in the Slaughter Beach election on Saturday, don't. The town says its election was canceled after only three candidates filed for three open town council seats. Benjamin Monastero, Joanne Plescia, and Robert Wood will be sworn in for their two-year terms during Monday's town council meeting. Right now, Delaware employers can register for the new Delaware Earns Retirement Program. Delaware Earns is free for employers and helps workers save for retirement. The program aims to close the state's retirement savings gap and boost financial resilience. It's sponsored by the Office of the State Treasurer. According to the state, if employers have five or more employees and don't offer a retirement plan, they need to sign up or certify for exemption by October 15th. Looking ahead on July 9th, DENREC will hold a virtual public hearing regarding the wind farm to be located off the coast of Maryland. The power transmission cables are proposed to land at Delaware Seashore State Park's 3Rs Beach and connect with a substation to be built near the Indian River Power Plant. Along with this virtual hearing, written comments will be accepted to DENREC until September 9th. President Joe Biden and Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke today as a ceasefire deal continues to inch closer, including the release of hostages. The leaders spoke about the recent response they received from Hamas, which includes a new proposal. Biden welcomed the prime minister's decision to engage with U.S., Qatari and Egyptian mediators to get a deal done sooner rather than later. Both leaders welcomed the meeting to take place on July 15th. We have a lot more to cover tonight on Coast TV News at 11. Hurricane Barrel's devastation hit. We have a look at the recovery efforts already underway. Plus, what you may not have known about picking out a swimsuit to wear to the beach. 
And if you're going to be along the bay, we're going to be really hot on Friday with that heat uh, advisory in effect. And then thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday. And that's just two out of many more days where it's going to be a little bit rough in the afternoon. We'll be back in just 60 seconds. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water. Or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877 call fur FHFur.com. The big issues, abortion, civil rights, health care. When Trump policies were attacking our rights, County Executive Matt Meyer fought back. Now Trump is promising a national abortion ban and huge cuts to health care coverage. Matt's health care plan will reduce costs, not coverage, by increasing competition on the exchange. And Matt's plan will protect women's access to abortion, always. So call Matt Meyer. Tell him you support his plans to protect Delaware values. We have to deal with the heat along with other portions of the country, and we are also going to update you on what's happening with Beryl with a news report, and we're going to update you on the location and the tracking of Beryl as well. So if you love weather, this is the segment for you. All right, so our Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Ocean City camera, we're at 69 degrees, and uh, we're looking at the uh, scattered clouds continuing throughout the rest of the night and evening hours. We had a high today of 92 degrees in Georgetown, 90 in Salisbury, 10 degrees cooler than that along the coast. Now compare this to our normal high and low for this time of the year. 87 is where we should be, but 92 is where we ended up just before one o'clock. And we had a low of 67 degrees, a couple of degrees below the average as well. Currently we're at 79 in Lewis and in Milton, as well as Millsboro, Georgetown and Seaford. 80 in red and 82 right now in Milford, but it's the dew point temperature. That's really the underlying theme of what's happening at this present time. Why is it so steamy and sultry and the air is just feeling thicker? The dew point temperatures are continuing to climb. And now that they're in the 70s for most areas, with the exception of Rehoboth, that means that the atmosphere is literally and, and figuratively and meteorologically juiced up with a lot of moisture. And we had that with the heat as that rain began to push through our area. But fortunately, it kind of broke up by the time it hit uh, the uh, borders of Sussex County, which was helpful to kind of preserve our uh, July the 4th celebration. But we have a heat advisory that's been kicked in for us. But now the latest note on that heat advisory is that it's actually been allowed to be extended going into uh, Saturday, believe it or not. So we take a look at our expectation for Friday morning. We start off with clear skies. And then as we go into, let's say, Friday afternoon and evening, we start seeing the cloud cover building right back in. So we're going to start seeing this ebb and flow with what's happening with the, um, with the forecast for the next few days. So the ebb and flow is heat and then more moisture with a quick developing scattered shower. Typical summer pattern with temperatures in the 90s, and it's very similar to a, a pattern you see like in Florida. But we are along a large body of water as well. 95 Vienna, 93 in Cambridge, and we're looking for 91 in Snow Hill and 92 in Pocomoke City. The heat index feeling like 100 on Thursday, Friday rather, and then the same holds true for us on Saturday, and it'll cool down to the 80s when we're fortunate. But now it looks like the heat will carry on into Monday. So our mosquito activity is going to stay elevated for the next three days in a row. At the very least, it's going to be a high level, then very high on Saturday. It's going to be extreme. Let's check that muggy meter since that's what's happening with all the mosquitoes. Look at where we are from very humid to miserable. And we dance up here for quite a while. Even Tuesday going to Wednesday, we'll dip to very humid. So we're going to go from miserable to very humid. And that's when we'll actually catch a break at the very humid side. Going up the coast, we're looking for scattered showers on Saturday and Sunday in Wallace Island as well as Assateague. We anticipate rain for us in South Bethany Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. And we anticipate the same rainy pattern for Saturday and Sunday in Cape Henlopen as well as Dewey Beach. Tonight, partly cloudy skies and we stay mild. Scattered clouds and 95 for tomorrow and 93 with a spot shower on Saturday. Finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling Extended Forecast. You'll notice that we're talking about a chance of rain really for the next six, maybe even seven or eight days in a row. So that's the pattern that we're stuck in right now. By the way, I want to update you on what's happening with Hurricane Barrel located at 19.6 north, 85.5 west. It's moving at about uh, 16 miles per hour with 115 mile per hour winds. It's a category three and expected to lose a little bit of strength and re-strengthen at 
with one with up to a, a category one this was once actually a category five and now folks that are in the wake of this and have already felt the wrath of barrel they're just trying to catch their breath after a historic storm has barreled through their neighborhoods it was like something just out of the world you know it was just unbelievable everything you can think about is gone hurricane barrels deadly and destructive path through the caribbean now has it passing just south of the cayman islands as of thursday afternoon it had weakened to a category two storm with maximum sustained winds around 110 miles per hour as tracked by the national hurricane center still packing a powerful punch like the one that hit jamaica wednesday we are now into recovery phase Barrel was a Cat 4 when it pummeled parts of the island nation. Jamaica's prime minister says several hundred people are in shelters as crews restore utilities and work to open blocked roads in several towns. Officials are assessing damage and safety risks as critical aid stands by. Which we hope to start distribution as soon as more information becomes available. Barrel is expected to remain a hurricane as it churns toward Mexico. Hopefully it will continue to spin down as it gets closer and closer to the Yucatan Peninsula. Hurricane hunters have been flying through Barrel all week, providing real-time information to forecasters tracking its path. Not an easy task with this size of storm, which started out as the earliest ever Cat 5 in the Atlantic hurricane season. These storms change literally every hour, hour and a half. They mm -hmm. have their own attitude and personality as they develop and go through eyewall regenerations and their life cycle changes, so they're never the same. Barrel could strengthen again in warm Gulf waters as it rolls toward northeastern Mexico and south Texas over the weekend. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. The beach may be part of your plan this weekend, but did you know that something as simple as the color swimsuit you wear can make you safer? Lifeguards in Rehoboth Beach say bright neon colored bathing suits make it easier to monitor swimmers. So with, especially with these 4th of July uh, big crowds, you want to be able to stand out and be visible to our lifeguards. So usually uh, with your suits, you kind of want to make them bright. You want to wear bright colors such as, you know, yellow, uh, maybe some pink, red, uh, green. If it's neon, that's even better, just so we can see it and compare it to the color of the ocean. While a pool can be much more translucent than the ocean, lifeguards say it's still a good safety practice for swimmers to wear bright colors. Boeing's plea deal deadline is approaching. How criminal charges could be involved? And celebrating America's first veterans, the Files volunteers have been working with the National Archives to transcribe. Hi, this is Amber Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's Carpet Care. Drop off your rugs today or have us pick them up and let our state-of-the-art cleaning plant do the rest. Many methods are used to clean rugs, from air dusting to remove fine soil to soaking in our whirlpool. Hand-knotted rugs are carefully washed, rinsed with cold water and wrung out, followed by a trip through the centrifuge before entering our controlled temperature drying room. We also repair all types of rugs from braided to hand-knotted. Quality cleaning by people who care. That's Brazier's Carpet Care. Don't let your septic turn your house into a nightmare. Pumping your septic tank regularly increases the life of your septic system. Avoid the horror of costly repairs. Get your septic pumped every two to three years. For over 70 years, McMullen Septic Service has been trusted for all of your septic system needs. We offer system installations, pumping, inspection, and repair. Because your business is our business. Maryland's coast in Worcester County has many small businesses to explore and support in our naturally fun towns. Pocomoke City, Snow Hill, Berlin, Ocean Pines, and Ocean City offer excellent shopping and dining. Galleries, boutiques, toys, home decor, and more. There's something for everyone. Looking for a bite to eat? Check out the local restaurants that are sure to please everyone. From breweries, farm to table, and nightlife, we have it all. To learn more about shopping and dining in Maryland's naturally fun towns, go to visitmarylandscoast.org. When you want a new or restored residential or commercial deck, roof, or balcony, contact Delmarva Roofing and Coating to make the switch to DuraDeck today. For over 15 years, they've been consistently one of the largest installers in the U.S., installing over 1 million square feet of DuraDeck decks. With at least 10 years of experience, their certified installers install the pre-manufactured sheets to almost any surface. Plus, Delmarva Roofing and Coating also offers warranties for water tightness and aesthetics. Make the choice that lasts. DuraDeck. Find out more at DelmarvaRoofing.com. 
Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. This is Coast TV News at 11. This 4th of July, we're hearing some of the stories of America's first veterans. Volunteers have been working with the National Archives to transcribe military pension files from the Revolutionary War. It's a special project leading up to the 250th anniversary of American independence in 2026. Michael Yoshida gives us a look at the documents and stories from those who fought for America's freedom. These markings here on the left show the states that the soldiers served from, both Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Telling the stories of America's first veterans. So this is an original uh, Revolutionary War pension file. The National Archives on a mission to preserve details and memories of Revolutionary War soldiers. The grueling stories of a battle, of their life after the war, of their family, um, the famous generals they might have um, might have seen. That's always fun when they talk about George Washington marching by or that they marched with George Washington. This special project started last year with the hope of finishing in 2026 for the 250th anniversary of America's independence. Volunteers from across the country and world going page by page, line by line. Every word that's transcribed becomes searchable in the National Archives catalog. And when it's searchable, it means that it's, it's accessible to the entire world. Volunteers do their work online by looking at digital copies. But on this day, the National Archives gave us an up-close look at original documents from the 1800s and the unique stories they tell. Deborah Gannett, who served as a soldier in the Revolution under the alias of Robert Shirtliff. John Deben with the National Archives walking us through the papers and the tough task volunteers face, from words being spelled differently, often by the way they sounded, to the challenges of reading the cursive and handwriting, though John and his years of experience make it look pretty easy. I was in Bunker Hill battle with him and that he served in the Revolutionary War a considerable time. Beyond stories, files also have lists of possessions. A broken kettle worth 75 cents, a skillet worth 25 cents. Unlike today, soldiers had to show why they were in need of financial assistance and a pension. This document also has a very nice example of original government red tape. John also giving us a quick history lesson. Before staplers and paper clips, uh, they often took uh, official documents and bound them together with red ribbon, you know, to keep them, to put them together. Mm -hmm. So that's where the term government red tape originally came from. Pieces of America's history, the National Archives hopes will be saved and shared for years to come. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. Stories from the files will be shared with the National Park Service, so something that is transcribed could end up being shared by a park ranger during a tour of a battlefield or other historic landmarks. The project is free to take part in on the National Archives website. The Justice Department wants a guilty plea from plane maker Boeing as a part of a deal with the company. If not, the DOJ must file criminal charges against the company by July 7th in order to go to trial. According to lawyers representing families of the victims of two deadly 737 MAX crashes, the department is nearing an agreement with Boeing. The deal would include a guilty plea to criminal charges, a fine, and a corporate monitor. The victims' families say the deal is a slap on the wrist for the huge company. No word from the Justice Department on this potential plea. Boeing is declining to comment. Rough week? Cheer up with a weekly dose of local good news from Coast TV with personal features, fun things to do each weekend, and more. Sign up now. It's free. Go to coasttv.com slash sign up and get your weekly dose of joy directly to your inbox. Fourth fun continues on the 5th, the Milton celebration planned for tomorrow. But first, an antique Air Force on Delmarva, the business that backs it and took Coast TV to new heights. Let's take a look at your golf forecast and, well, as you line up your putt for tomorrow, keep in mind it's going to be a steamy start to the day. Partly cloudy skies, you may run into a few scattered showers in the afternoon, so the earlier the tea time, the better. It's whaler season at Taylor Marine Center. Enjoy summer savings on the unsinkable legend, Boston Whaler. Taylor Marine Center has unprecedented inventory, factory incentives, and year-end savings on Montauk's Vantages, the newly designed Dauntless, and the Offshore Classic Outrage. 
Taylor Marine Center with two award-winning locations to serve you in Milford, Delaware and Ocean City, Maryland. Visit Taylor Marine today, your whaler season dealer. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, like myself and flooring, to ensure you get the best product to fit your needs and that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. They worked with me, gave me different options, kept within that budget, completed it on time. Delmarva Design Center was awesome. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Oh, they're out there by the millions. And spiders, crickets, and ants are always looking for a place to call home. Look, up ahead is your home. And to them, it looks like the perfect place to settle in. Call Braziers, and our expert technicians will establish a defensive barrier around your home that will keep out the riffraff. Our premium protection plan is guaranteed to keep spiders, crickets, and ants from moving into your home for a full year. Call Braziers Pest Control today and say goodbye to unwanted guests. So a few of my friends and I, we decided we're gonna go on this journey for getting braces. Um, I did have an overbite at the time, so I just came in for a consultation and I absolutely enjoyed my first meeting. She showed me the teeth and how my braces, my teeth would look with the metal braces. They explained to me that would be the better option and they said trust the process and that's what I loved about Dr. Shulman. They made me feel confident, you know, to get me this beautiful smile. Hi, I'm Delmarva Dave. We purchased this house in less than 30 days. And I'm Christina and the owners didn't have to make any repairs. Inherited, overwhelmed, or on the verge of foreclosure, we can buy your home so you can move on. We buy all sorts of property, like this mobile home, even if they're in serious disrepair. For as is, fast cash offers on residential or commercial property anywhere on Delmarva, check out our local five-star reviews. And then call or visit us at delmarvadave.com today. The Milton Farmer's Market is having an Independence Day celebration on July 5th. The festivities will begin at 3.30 p.m. at Grace Church. Vendors will be there as well as plenty of family-friendly activities taking place all day. And at the Corman Airport in Greenwood, you'll find an aerial spraying business in hangars alongside a military plane museum. It's all owned and operated by Jeff Corman. The business sprays over Delaware, Maryland, and some of Eastern Shore, Virginia. I got the chance to take flight with Corman in an advanced trainer plane that was once used by the U.S. military. If you see a yellow crop duster in Delaware, it's most likely Jeff Corman's. Corman's aerial spraying operates out of Corman Airport in Greenwood with 26 aircraft in total. Some people collect cars, I collect airplanes. Including five World War II and Korean War vintage airplanes. This North American AT-6 fighter trainer plane has flown 6,500 hours since it was built in the 1940s. 4,500 of those hours were logged by the Navy and Marine Corps. It was retired in 1954 and then Corman bought it in 2021. Corman now flies these advanced fighter trainer planes, demonstrating positive G maneuvers like loops and rolls. Nothing violent. We leave that to airplanes that are specifically designed for it. And these are, uh, these are designed for fighter combat maneuvers. Nervous? Uh, it's not, I'm not really processing any nerves right now. I got to fly in the 1955 North American T-28. That was an instrument trainer in Pensacola for the Navy. They strapped me in with a parachute and helmet and gave me a quick tutorial about how the plane flies. even letting me take over once we were airborne. But Corman guided us through the stunts, catching G's and feeling weightless once we were completely upside down. We flew from Greenwood to the coast and cruised from Broadkill to Lewis Beach in no time, flying over Rehoboth and Milford on the way back. Before I knew it, we were back at the airport, touching down from the ride of a lifetime for me and a daily routine for Corman. This business has been here since 1950. Started with Joe Hudson, and uh, my dad bought the aerial spraying business from Joe in 1987. And then I came along in 2010 and bought the business for my father. 
the planes are inspected every year. They're all a piece of history. Every one of them is. And uh, they all have a story to tell. And they have a story to tell of the people that learned in them. So it's nice to be able to, to pass that on. I'm just the caretaker of them. They'll, they'll be here after I'm gone. A family business with deep roots in Sussex County. I'm Mallory Metzner over Sussex County Coast TV News. Corman says he has every flight qualification except the airline transport pilot rating, which is needed to fly major commercial planes. He is a nominee for the Delaware Aviation Hall of Fame. Coming up, the Rehoboth Beach Museum brings you the recreation of Jam Night, when you can attend, coming up on Coast TV News at 11. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Hi, I'm Sussex County farmer Blaine Hitchens, and I plant cover crops to improve my soil health. Cover crops help with nutrient cycling, weed suppression, and also reducing our input costs. I'm also improving water quality and my soils are more productive, increasing my yield and bottom line. Healthy soils produce healthy crops. Cost share signups are going on now. To take advantage of the financial assistance, stop by the Conservation District to enroll in the Cover Crop Cost Share Program because every acre counts. When it comes to protecting your home, don't take chances with just anyone. Trust the experts at Spicer Brothers. Join thousands of satisfied customers who've chosen us for our exceptional service, quality installation, and unbeatable warranties. Whether you need a roof replacement or just want to upgrade the look of your home, we've got you covered. And right now, save up to 20% on your new roof, plus enjoy no interest and no payments until 2026. For a roof that's done right, trust Spicer Brothers day and night. Because you deserve the best. Let me brag for a moment about my wife. She's among the few dentists worldwide to be accredited by the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. She is the only dentist within a 100 mile radius with this prestigious accreditation. And I couldn't be prouder of her dedication and achievement. It is my passion to ensure our patients receive the absolute best in cosmetic dentistry and leave with a renewed confidence in their smile. Entrust your smile with a dentist accredited by the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. Schedule your free consultation with De Palma Dental in Berlin, Maryland today. Go Glass. Repair, replace, upgrade, or enhance. Go Glass is your go-to for everything glass, friendly and fast. From our infinity insulated glass windows that we bake right here on Delmarva, the auto glass, and from shower doors to beautiful glass railings, even screen porches and patio doors. Go Glass is your one-stop shop for everything glass, friendly and fast. Online at go-glass.com. We're proud to be Delmarva's number one glass company. Go Glass. The Rehoboth Beach Museum is bringing on a blast from the past by recreating Acoustic Jam Night, which organizers say was a locally famous open stage that was held at the front page restaurant and bar from 1984 through 1993. This year's fundraiser will be on Wednesday, July 24th from 7 to 9.30 p.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Museum. Tickets are $25 and you need to buy them ahead of time. Because everybody's coming. There. That's right. All right. So our dry tech camera in Ocean City uh, right now, um, and we're looking at about 75 degrees for uh, for our high today. Now, excuse me, not a high for, for overnight. Now, our five day UV index is kind of an interesting situation. We're going to escalate right back up to a 10 for Friday and a nine for Saturday. We'll go down Sunday and Monday down to a six and then back up to an eight by the time we get to Thursday. So you'll need to be sure to have the uh, sunblock at SPF 30 and try to stay in the shade during the midday. Our umbrella giveaway winner, by the way, is Michael uh, Chorizé of Salisbury. Congratulations, courtesy of Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling. You can call our weather line and sponsored by Bird, Mandela's Brockstead and Federico. And here's a look at your exclusive 10 day forecast. We're gonna be stormy in the afternoon for the next few days in a row. All right, thanks Paul. And thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, download the Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is up next. We'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.